What's up, City Church of the Treasure Coast? It's Pastor G, and I am back at you with the 7 at 7 for tonight. And so we're really excited because it is seven minutes of devotional at 7 o'clock. And so I've got a word for you today. And what I've been studying about in these past couple of weeks is just the phrase, I am. And I began to look this up in the Bible, and the definition is this. It's the Greek term, and forgive me if I pronounce it wrong, but it's called Ego emi, and it is a the word I am, and it's used emphatically with emphasis whenever Jesus Jesus mentioned it. And so in the New Testament, in the book of John, it's actually used seven different times. In the Bible, it's used over 300 different times. And the one time specific um, that God just took me to is in Genesis chapter 15 and verse 1. And it says this, it says, After this, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. And he says this, do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, and I am your very great reward. We understand the word shield means protection. But then it says that I am your, your payment or your reward for what you've done. And so continuing on in verse 2, it says this, But Abraham said, Sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless, and the one who will inherit my, uh, my, my favor is Eleazar of Damascus? And Abraham said, you have, no, you have given me no children, so the servant in my household will be my heir. And the word of the Lord came to him and said this, your son will be of your own flesh and blood. He will be your heir. And he took him outside and he looked up at the sky and he said, count the stars. If indeed you cannot count them, and he said to him, so shall your offspring be. And Abraham said to the Lord, he credited it. it the Lord credited it to him as righteousness. Check this out. So the point one that I want to show you is, number one, this didn't surprise God. What we're going through right now in COVID-19 isn't a surprise to God. God wasn't up in heaven, and all of a sudden this thing happened, and he goes, oh, man, I didn't expect that to come. Like, he knew. So the word of the Lord that he gave you before this thing hit, listen, it's still valid. God has still given you promise, has still going to see this thing through to the end. Because as you've been in your word and as you've been connected to him, the promise that God has given you for your family, for your life, for your destiny, listen, this thing is not going to stop it. What God has already started, he's going to see through to the end. And so, man, this promise that he gave Abraham or Abram at this moment was 80 years before it even took place and started to happen. And so God is the one who's going to bring this thing to pass in your life. And check this out. When, when God said to him at first, I am your shield, because as we know, in this time period, we're all nervous going, man, I need some protection. I need to get some Clorox wipes. I need some sort of protection in my life. God saying, I'm your shield if you let me be. But the thing was, was that Abraham didn't even notice him as a shield at this moment. The first thing that he, he started to put this as is he goes, wait, but you said that you're my very great reward. So he forgot about him being a shield and went straight to the reward. What I'm trying to get to you is that God is whatever you need him to be in that time period. The reason why Abraham noticed him as being, man, you are my very great reward was because he needed him to be the person who brought his offspring to the earth at that time. He didn't pick him up as a shield. God said, I'm a shield, but he didn't even notice him as that. So as I'm reading, it says this in John chapter 18 and verse 3, it says, So Judas came to the garden, guiding the detachment of soldiers and some officials and some chief of priests and some Pharisees. And they came carrying torches and lanterns and weapons. And Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked him. He said, who is it who you want? Who are you looking for? In verse 5, Jesus of Nazareth said this to him. He said, I am he. The same phrase, ego emi. And so what it began to, it says in that verse, it goes on to say in that chapter, is that the men who were with him fell back. It says they drew back on the ground. And what was crazy to me as I began to read this was the word ego emi is listed in scripture and listed over 300 times. And there's so many different places where he begins to explain himself to who he could be. But listen, how is God all of these different things? And for instance, he says, I'm the truth. He says, I'm the good shepherd. 
He says, I am the true vine. He says, I am your strength. He says, I'm your banner. He says, I am the alpha and omega. He says, I am your strong tower. He says, I'm your shield. I am the light of the world. He says, I am with you always. So as I began to think about that, I was like, God, how can you be all of these things? You're 300 different things in the scripture. And he said simply to me as I was praying, he goes, because I'm God. Because I'm God, I can be everything that you need me to be. So he's asking us in these moments, let me redefine who I am to you. Who do you need me to be in your life? Do you need protection? I'll be that. Do you need to be the word? You need me to be the way, the truth, and the life? I'll be that. Do you need me to be your shelter? I'll be that. What God's waiting for us to do is to approach him. My favorite part about this season that we are in is that if we allow God to redefine himself, he'll do so is that in our lives, we had to slow down and withdraw from society and be homes with our families. But now what it's allowing you to do is you, as the, as the priest and the leader of your household as parents, you are able to sit down with your family and to show your whole family who God is to you. When, you're, when times of distress hit and you go, Lord, I need you to show up as, man, my shelter. I need you to show up as my guide. I need you to be my deliverer. I need you to be my protection and my shield. Because he's God, he can be all of these things. And so here's what I want you guys to do. Here's what I'm going to challenge you to do is, man, redefine who God is in your life with your family. In this time period when you're alone with the family, allow God to redefine who he is to your entire family. Allow God to redefine who he is to you personally. Allow God to redefine who he is man, publicly in your world, how you display him to people. Because if you allow him, he'll show you exactly who he is in your life. And some of you may be watching this and you may not have known who Jesus is. This is the opportunity where you can meet him right where you are, right in your living room, right with your family. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pray. And if you've never allowed Jesus to just come into your life and come into your heart, here's what I want you to do. The Bible says all you have to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. So as we pray, take this opportunity to allow God to redefine who he, who he is to you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, I thank you today, Lord, that you are just redefining to every single person. And for those who may not know you, God, God, they may not have any hope. Father, I thank you in this very moment as we take a pause and we pray, Lord, that you begin to redefine who you are to them. And Lord, I thank you that now because of that, we have salvation. It is, it is now made, we are now made righteous under the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for doing this thing today in our lives. Now make something beautiful out of the rest of our life. Lord, we give you all the praise and the glory in Jesus' name, amen. Listen, thank you for being with us. Thank you for joining in on our 7 and 7. Make sure that you stop by at citychurchofthetreasurecoast.com. Make sure you go ahead and jump online. If you want to give, there's places for you to give on there. Listen, we need your help in this time period. And allow God to also show you who he is in the way of your giving. He'll meet you right there. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon.